Hi, hi, everybody. Just uh, confirm that we're here. Yeah, it looks like we are. All right, if you guys can just hear us, uh, just give us a, a comment. Let us know that you can hear and see us. That'd be great. And um, for those that are joining and are new, Obviously, always let us know that you are here and new so we can uh, come out and say hi to you personally. Um, Broski, you're, you're seeing us live, yeah? Uh, yeah, let me just, I'm trying to figure out the uh, Telegram thing, but we're good, I think. You're not getting any feedback from me, right? Nope. Okay. Uh, I will, I'll check all the things. You just start doing the intro. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, thank you guys for letting us know that you're here. Uh, by the way, whoever is a Facebook user, so you guys can probably see on the screen the comments on the right-hand side and it'll say Facebook user. Um, if that is you, you can, bro, maybe drop in that link in there. Uh, we use this uh, stream service and then that basically, uh, because it's a private group, does not grab your name and this way we can actually uh, see who you are in the service as well. So just guys going to drop that link in there. You click on that link and then um, it will actually pull your name. And then when you comment here, it's just a one and done deal. Like once you do it once, it'll, it'll save that forever. Um, so yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, really excited to actually be here with you today. Um, guy and I are coming back. Guy, guy <laughs> well, I'll say guy and I uh, are coming back from a weekend training so we've been gone basically from uh, Thursday to we arrived back home yesterday. Guy's voice, which you guys will hear here in a second, he kind of lost it during one of the processes. Um, <laughs> he was whispering, really, really, really loudly whispering. Very um, loudly whispering. And by that, I mean yelling to the, to the heavens. <laughs> very, very loud voices. Um, as you do. As you do. And, and ended up losing his voice. Um, and just, you know, for, if you guys are new, just so you understand, um, guy and I, we didn't get to hear because we just read a bunch of smart books. Um, we are big, big believers in the experience of things so much so that, uh, we have collectively spent over a million dollars and, countless of tens of thousands of hours uh, putting ourselves over the last 20 years in experiences so that we can learn this from within. And so the things that we share either here or in our awareness uh, academy, awareness effect academy, um, or in our intuitive mind event, like these are not things that we just read in a book or another teacher said, you know, just take them through this process. Like everything that we are sharing with you here is because we have been doing the work day in and day out for the last 20 years. This doesn't come from uh, anywhere other than our experience. And we've just basically created this hodgepodge of all of these information and practices and meditation practices and body awareness practices and somatic healing practices and energetic, like anything that you can imagine. And that's what we share here. And so we just had this really, really powerful weekend where I said to Guy, I just feel like the, the transmission that is coming out of me uh, and how it's impacting my kids right now and my wife and even complete strangers that I've run into at the airport is so profound. I think you guys know, like when you feel good, right? Like good things start to happen around you, but like imagine where you 
emanate, not just feel like you emanate as a frequency, a level of stability and goodness and well-being that everyone is just drawn to. They like they don't even know why but they're drawn to animals, kids, people. It's just it's really fascinating. So, um, yeah, I feel amazing. And I'm, I'm really, really excited to be here with you guys today. Yeah. So welcome to this is the best my voice has been in three days. So that's actually true. You guys are actually getting me on the, on the high on the high point of this. Um, <clears throat> we thought today we would do something different. We're certainly gonna uh, have a conversation about you know just this this feeling of stuckness. And like when I say that, how many of you guys know what I mean by by just feeling stuck, right? And just to give it some some voice here for those who can't speak right now uh, on this webinar, it's like. Uh, you know, maybe it's in your relationships. Maybe it's in a relationship with yourself. Like you wake up in the morning and you're not kind to yourself. I know that one well. <laughs> you know, maybe it's uh, in relationship to your your spouse or your partner. Maybe it's you, um, you know, yell at your kids, but you wish, you know, you go to bed feeling guilty. Uh, maybe it's your health that you just can't seem to get in order and your body's in pain. You have angst. Or maybe you've just been struggling with money for a really, really long time, right? Like any of those, if any of those kind of jive with you, you know, say I in the chat box. And so many of us try to uh, approach that uh, through trying to understand what's happening. And there, and there is some value in that, right? Like clearly there's some value in like, okay, well, why am I doing this? How did I get here? Why do I have these beliefs? There, there's definitely value in that. And there's something so much deeper happening. And you all intuitively know this, that ultimately when you go into public or you're around your partner or uh, that feeling that you get when you get a bill, it hits your system and something happens. There's a collapse or a contraction. It's like a <clears throat> in the body. And it truly doesn't matter if you understand why that's happening, here's the reality, that's happening. That's actually really happening to you. That is your experience right now. That's your as lived experience. And a lot of times it's very uncomfortable. In the scientific sense, your, your nervous system is responding to what it feels is a threat. And I want you to really feel into that for a moment you can think about it if you need to, but really feel into it. And you want to feel into if that response, that fear response, that defensiveness, that collapse, that, you know, this discomfort that's in the body, if that's new for you, or if that's something that you know very intimately. And if you know it intimately, that should tell you something. It's been, it's been around for a long time. Yeah. yeah. Probably since before you could really remember or articulate your life, like before you really have memories. And here's the truth. Those informative years of like zero to three, zero to five years, where most of us don't have many memories. Like I have a three and a half year old at home and it behooves me to think like, he's not gonna really remember this time, the amount of effort and love and care that went into his life, right? And now my wife and I are very, very well trained individuals because we choose to be. My wife's been meditating since she's nine years old. I've been doing personal development for the last 20 years. We're part of a lot of different types of schools <clears throat> of, of lineages and stuff like that, that we've learned. And so we have learned energetic attunement with our child. And the reason I say that is because most of us with our upbringing, with the parents that we had, the parents that we had, their parents were absentee parents. They really didn't have parents around very much. Their parents were really, really in a survival type of mode and, and maybe even in your life, you had absentee parents who were in survival mode. And, and if you're not that person, maybe your parents were there. Like you actually had parents that were present. They were caring enough. Uh, but you still feel traumatized on the inside. You still have these really strange experiences in life where you're like, why is this happening? Why do I feel this way? Why am I sad? Why am I all these things? And there's nothing wrong inherently with any of those experiences what, what we have not learned yet is how to actually be with our experiences present in the moment so that they're no longer stuck in our nervous system. They're no longer stuck in our energetic bodies. And that 
for, for a healthy child, like to go all the way through human development in a healthy way, you really don't, it's not just that you need present parents. You need very attuned parents. You need energetically attuned parents. And if you're like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? I want you to think when you were a child, did you just want mom and dad's attention or did you just need them to like see you? And I don't mean like see you with their eyes. I mean like really see you. Like your essence. It needed to be received in some way. It needed to be held in some way. It needed to be acknowledged in some way. And truth be told, I have not met anybody. Elon, you can tell me if you have. And working with tens of thousands of people over the years, with all the conversations we've had, with all the teachers we've been exposed to, I have not met any human being that has received that, not gotten that, not, not the way that a human needs it. And so I say all that today because we thought today we would start a little bit differently than we normally would. And we'd actually start with a transmission for you guys, like a brief five minute meditation drop in with the community. And we'll give you very, very light instructions on, on where to put your awareness because what we ultimately are very, very interested in is bringing humanity to a completely new level of, of experience within themselves. I was gonna say understanding, but it's beyond understanding. It is how do you locate a higher state of awareness within you that has always been there, but you have not been taught how to locate it. And then what is the role that that plays in terms of allowing a human being not only to heal, because healing just means like the old stuff clears out of your system. That, that, that's what healing is to me. You may have a different definition, but for me, it's like these old bondages, these old, um, you know, these things that, that imprison us in loops of stories and experiences and relationships that don't feel healthy. It's like that goes away. And then the next part is what takes its place? Because for a lot of us, we have stories that we're very committed and attached to. Like truly, like, you, you know, the, especially the ones that hurt you. There's, believe it or not, people are really, really attached to their stories. Why? Because their system knows how to deal with it. Even if it's a horrific story, at the very least, you know how to survive that story. You become very adept at surviving that story. But again, say I in the chat box, if you were like, I'm fucking done surviving the story. I'm ready for a new story to emerge. And so inherently, the way that we learn how to do this is by mirroring and receiving these energetic uh, attunements from people. Like maybe you will never get that from your parents. You guys get that? A lot of us keep going back to our parents and trying to resolve our past and our relationships with them. But it's like your parents still don't give you what you need to be seen. And it could be that you will never receive it from those people. You may have to accept that. Why? Why? Not because they don't want to give it to you. They don't know how. They literally have no training on how to do that. What was done to them was significantly worse than what was done to you. I, I, I nearly guarantee you that was the case. And so if you want that kind of training, the only way you can go get it is from another system that has that medicine for you, that has already done that work, has that energy within them. And when you're with sitting in presence with that person, you can get that template for your system. And it's why one of the first things that we do in this environment, in this old souls and seekers environment, the one of the first things we do is we literally hand you over one of the most powerful meditation practices that you will ever do. Not so you can quiet your mind, but so you can re-template your energetic body and you can start learning, how do I receive these transmissions of energetic things that I have been deeply desiring to receive in my system, even if I didn't know how to articulate what it is that I needed. And so we thought, again, we'd spend the next five minutes since Elon and I are coming out of this really juicy, watery, kind of divine mothery type of energy. So it's literally flowing through our systems right now. We will open our system so that you guys can get a bit of that transmission and get a taste of that energy. And so you know, sitting down, I'm going to sit down over here. Do Before we do that, I just want to offer something here. Um, in, in the breath of, you know, the, the stuckness that we are kind of pointing to here. So I kind of look through and I, and I 
picked out some words that you guys wrote. Um, disassociated, confused, dread, stuck. And what I want to offer is, and just note, notice this right before we, we drop in here, is notice your resistance to that. Notice how much resistance you have to the feeling of disassociation. Notice how much resistance you have to feeling dread. Notice how much resistance you have to confusion. And then also start to notice what you do in order to make that feeling or sensation go away. Yeah. And you guys all know what you resist does what? Persists. As soon as you turn inwards and you create a battle internally with yourself, I should not be feeling this right now. How do I get through dread? I should not be feeling confused. How do I get through confusion? I do not like feeling disassociated. How do I stop feeling disassociated? What are you in essence creating more of? Aren't you in fact creating more of the same? Let me know in the chat box. Like, do you notice that as it's, it's like a vortex, right? It, it kind of like pulls you in, you go up to the mind and now your mind is trying to figure out how to get you out of confusion, how to get you out of dread, how to get you out of being stuck, how to get you out of disassociated. And it's pulling for responses. But I want you to get your mind is tapped into a dot worth, like, like, a, like a point worth of knowledge and information. It has a certain amount of building blocks that you have curated or it has remembered and curated over the decades that you've been alive. That is it. No more. Now, as we sit in meditation, what I want you to begin to experience, okay, is the vastness and openness of the infinite wisdom that your mind has zero access to, but your body has the access. And the the answers that you seek, if you keep going to the mind, right? I think uh, Einstein was the one that says it. You can't go to the you can't go to the place. You can't go to the mind to source. <laughs> the, wow, you can't go to the mind to create the problem to find the solution because it's it's an infinite loop. It's just gonna like whoop 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 over and over and over. So where the question is not how do I get out of this because. You tell me, has that worked? This is not new for you. You keep going to the same well over and over and over and keep being left what? Disappointed over and over and over. So the offering that we're about to give to you right now is an offering to tap into something outside of self and outside of mind. Wow, I'm like so moved by the idea of what, like, guys, when you open up your system, you tap into a source, a resource of infinite wisdom. And maybe it doesn't happen in the timeline that your puny little human mind wants it to go in or any of that. And I can assure you, having taken thousands of people through this and having done this over and over and over, like every answer you want is available to you when you can unhook from the mind that actually created that problem. So the invitation right now, as we're going to sit for five minutes is to just notice your present moment experience. Don't try to change it. Don't try to fight it. Don't try to lessen it. 
Don't even try to understand it. The invitation is simply sit. And as you open awareness is just, wow, can I actually feel like, wow, look, I, I'm really feeling that disassociation, but feel the disassociation. Don't try to make it go away. Feel the confusion. Feel the part inside of you that is so confused. That's like, I want to figure this out. I want to figure this out. I want to figure this out. Feel the sadness of the stuckness, like deep in your heart. Just feel what's there. Your job, I just posted this the other day. Your job is not even to heal anything. It's simply feel it. The healing happens on its own. The healing happens when you sit with people like Guy and I who can transmit medicine to your system that the mind is never going to understand what the hell is happening, why it's happening, what am I supposed to do, why am I doing this? None, of, All that stuff slows it down. Simply being in witness of what is my present moment experience and just keep seeing it. What's here right now? What's here right now? What's here right now? What's here right now? And in that, you begin to unlock this level of surrender and in that level of surrender comes wisdom beyond anything that any of you can ever imagine. Yeah. And, and I just want to say here, you know, if, if you're here to heal something, which is a, a big deal for Elon and I, right? Like we're happy to teach you the mindset work, but at the end of the day, we want to get you beyond just coping and managing better. Again, those are effective tools without a doubt for getting through life and in, in, in a joyful way. There, there's aspects to the to the work where it goes beyond the mind and well underneath anything that the mind can comprehend. And I just want to tell you, like, you're hearing my scratchy voice here, right? <laughs> like some of these experiences are very large. And for anybody who's ever sat in medicine circles and, you know, done ayahuasca ceremonies, like, you, you've seen these things, right? Like you've had these experiences. You, you understand the power of, of an open system and of the expression of healing that the body has that is innate and natural. We see it with children every single day. When you see a child having a tantrum, that's a healthy expression of healing. That's what that is. It's energy moving through the body. So I just want to offer you like there is an, an, a natural expression of the body that we have been conditioned out of. You were literally taught not to do that. And for many, many of us, it's why we're so stuck. And so the way that it went in is often the way that it goes out. When you go into meditation and you feel discomfort, that is you going through that experience. If you are willing to sit in that, in awareness, it's a big distinction there, in awareness, right? And that's what our programs are all about. Is like, what is this awareness? That's why we call it the awareness effect. Pretty, pretty clever, huh? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> when you're willing to do that, that's liberation. When you're no longer afraid of that pattern in your body, it leaves. You're no longer at war with it. You're not attached to something else. You just go through the experience. And that is your, how your body metabolizes energy. If you can do that just one time and go all the way through, it will teach you something that will change your life forever and potentially for everyone around you as well. So I think we've said enough here. We'll do a five minute sit. Sit as you are. Like Elon said, just be present with your experience. And take note of where you are now. Like really just take stock of like, okay, how do I feel now? How am I, what's happening in my body, my mind? Just really take note. And then we're gonna have you take note again in like five-ish minutes and just kind of see what what is here as we, after we do this. Okay. So wherever you are at work, at home, just, you know, feet, you can get your feet on the ground or in a cross-legged position, whatever makes your body feel comfortable and, and restful. And then close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And bring some awareness towards your heart. And then just hang out there for a moment and just see if you feel some shift as Elena and I start going into a higher states, okay?
And if you can, have some part of your awareness notice that you are not alone. We are all connected through a unified field. That is not spiritual mumbo jumbo. That is a, now a scientific fact. It has always been known. It will always be the case for all energy being sentient and non-sentient. It's crucial for humanity to begin understanding that in order to heal, we actually need each other. And maybe we're not in the room with you, but when it comes to awareness, one of its incredible qualities is that it is free of both space and time. I want to name some qualities here. Perhaps you're starting to feel kind of a, a buoyancy, almost like a light bobbing that may be happening, as if you're on a boat that's floating on the lake, just gently rocking. Or there may begin to be a feeling of fullness like fullness in your body or a warmth in your body. Some of you guys may be noticing some contractions down your center channel in your heart or stomach. These are completely natural. Your voice is on loudspeaker and then is talking a mile a minute, that's also completely natural. Again, we don't want to change our state. We don't want to do these practices with an in order to get somewhere. Keep noticing your moment by moment experience. Perhaps it's sadness that you feel, so presence the sadness, or frustration or anger that you feel, and so present the anger or the frustration. Maybe it's even confusion that you feel, and that's fine. So presence your confusion. Do not try to change your state. Yeah, there you go. Whew. Everything is welcome here, guys. Every thought, every whisper, every sensation.
Every single one of us is a work in progress. Perfectly imperfect. Navigating this unbelievable experience of an infinite spirit that chose to contain itself in a finite body. It's a very confusing thing for a spiritual being. And yet your spirit chose this body in this time to have this experience. And so perhaps in this life, knowing that your spirit comes from a unified grand intelligence, it's time to put a little trust in this higher you that is free of time and space and worried about life or death and expands and lives in the infinity. Maybe there's some intelligence there about why it chose this identity to learn through this body and these cultures with these challenges to learn through. Maybe even in this moment with whatever you're experiencing is that very intelligence coming through you to your very, very intelligent body, offering you this experience for something much deeper than you ever realized. So just check in again with your system right now from where we started. Just note any changes from where the baseline was. If you want to share anything about your experience just in this short few minutes, feel free to write it in the chat box. I would love to hear what what you sensed or what you're open to as you were receiving that transmission. Mm. And just noting that even if your eyes are not closed right now, feel free if you like to do that. Um, but even if you're engaging in this conversation, know that Guy and I are ever transmitting this to you. There's nothing that you need to do in order to receive it other other than just say I'm open. Yeah. Yeah. So Ian says, I've ignored my spirit for a while. Mandy Jane says sobbing. Dana, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, says it's a sensual experience. Yeah, very, very much so. Very sensual. Uh, Mocha, I hope I'm prom promoting that. Uh, wow, I can't speak from here. I hope I'm uh, saying that right. Says big heart. Alistair says it was interesting that when Guy said, there we go, I let out this big sigh and felt a shift. It was wild. So one of the things that, um, to speak real quick to what Alistair was saying, and I'll read some of these other ones, so keep, keep sharing them. Um, we have developed, as we've done this work, we have developed the ability to sense with our awareness other people's systems and the collective group and system. Um, and so when we feel the field cohere in this very way that's what guy was actually pointing to it's like the coherence of the field was just at this very beautiful state and i'm sure m many of you had a similar experience to what alistair was talking about like as guy said that there was something happening so let me read some other ones and 
Uh, Rachel, I'm having a hard time letting my tears come. Yes. Welcome to being human, Rachel. Like it was not safe for many of us to show our emotions. In fact, this weekend we, we did a practice um, that was all about that and like reawakening that healthy part uh, and allowing us to move that energy and emotions through. So again, just for you, Rachel, just noticing the place of stuckness around that emotion is enough. You, you can't force them to come. It's just, you know, we got to basically allow for. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Marilyn says, I often feel like I'm not understanding how to get past what I'm feeling, anxiety, sadness. And again, just to what I was saying to Rachel, Marilyn, same thing. It's like, notice the part that wants to get past it. There's nothing to get past, guys. There's just a being with, being with anxiety, being with sadness. Like, and if, if there's so many people that we work with um, that as you do more of this work, you gain more and more access to letting this stuff process through. And there are times, I mean, guy went through months long process of releasing something and it was very intense and he can feel all the old parts that want to go back and keep himself small and safe and stop this flow from happening. And at the same time, he knew that it's in this flow of the release that he's going to begin to touch something new. And so we just get to be with that. Um, that was a response to Alex. Um, my soul's having it take care of temperature. Get your minute. What's the belief? I'm screaming, kicking and crying. Tears. Samantha says, first, I just had this tickle in my stomach that made me want to giggle. Then my wrist pain distracted me. And then I kept hearing a woman whispering, but I couldn't hear what she was saying. So mm. confused experience. Amazing. Wow. That's, it's a pretty profound experiencing. Um, Weber says, wow, waterfalls swirling like on wings. Oof. Oh, well, that feels good. Eyes gushing tears. Um, and Veronique. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Veronique says greater acceptance of myself, which I lost sight of in the past 48 hours. And to Veronique's point, right? Like Veronique's actually in our uh, level three training. And this is really interesting. It's like, this is why we do the work. This is why I say all the time, you can try as you might with the best of intentions to do this on your own and you will fail. You will maybe have like moments and spurts, but you will fail. And here's why we constantly need reminders. Guy and I, work in this community. We're going through a program that's two years long. We have a dream team around us. We do weekly sessions that are given to us. We give people sessions. We have a team that we sit with all the time. There's not a day that goes by that I'm not sitting with someone in the field getting reflection, not one. And so I'm not saying like, if you want the results, that's exactly what you have to do. I'm just telling you like, I love this stuff so much and I've seen the profound impact that it makes both on my personal lives and then the lives of those that come in contact with me, whether it's our clients, my friends, et cetera. It's a non-negotiable for me. You guys get that? Like you eat food every day. This is my food for my soul. And this is why I expect to have these level of results constantly because I'm constantly nourishing it. Not with an agenda, just I know that this is what my soul needs. This is what my energetic body needs. Uh, Angel, that was so intense. I felt something, someone, a presence. I saw and felt, and when it pulled or adjusted me, I felt weight out of my chest and just can't stop sobbing. Wow. And I just want to point out, guys, we sat for five minutes. Five minutes. I don't know where Angel is. I'm in Florida right now. Guys in San Diego, California right now, wherever you are in the world, just pause for a moment and take in that whatever experience you had right now, you are most likely hundreds, if not thousands of miles away. You are sitting on a phone or on a computer and what you felt 
was very real. Awareness is infinite. It is boundless. And the second that you open and connect to this benevolent energy, it will guide you more than any book or video or teacher. Guy and I are not your guru. We're not. We're not here to give you answers on how to live your life. I don't, I, I can't give you those answers. What if you can connect to something that can ongoingly provide you with love and acceptance and peace and wisdom and intuition way beyond anything that anyone else can give you? And you become a sovereign being that can guide their own lives with the connection of this benevolent force. That's honestly what's on offer. Like you join and you come be part of the Awareness Effect Academy. I'm telling you, it's not because Guy and I are going to share some magical wisdom thing that's going to change your life forever. No, you're going to tap into that for yourself. Yeah. <clears throat> and and reality is, it's like, look, we, t we have, you know, we're always open to have conversations with people. And I'm going to let you guys know how to do that in a minute here. And look, there's people we talk to and we hear, you know, they, they go into the depth of their story and here's the reality. They are committed to their story. They're very committed to the identity that they have. And we get it because it is, it takes courage to let go of what you have known. And I want to offer that what most of us have known is a very, very, very narrow band of human experience. Most of us, our range of emotions are pretty much angry or sad. It's not okay to cry. It's not okay not to have an answer. And I want you to just feel into how scary it is sometimes to let somebody else know what's truly on your heart's desire, what you truly care about, and what you really want. Because it's so risky. It seems so risky to us to do that because we think we won't be received the way we weren't received as children. That's terrifying to somebody to not be received. And to not be received is to feel very alone. And you don't have to like go into this. Like you don't have to go into the experience of being alone. But just take a qu quick moment and close your eyes and take a breath and find somewhere in your body right now, somewhere down the center channel, that when, you, when that thought hits, I'm alone, there's some sensation location in your body. And again, you don't have to go into it, but like just briefly touch it. Like just, just touch, touch being alone for a moment. And I'm touching it right along with you. And I get a great, I get a intense swell of sadness when I touch that in my body. And if I go really deep onto it, I'm going to start touching terror because the truth is, is that being alone to a human being is the equivalence of feeling our own demise. Death. We are, we are biologically built for connection like any other organism on planet earth, whether you're talking about trees or fungus or, or any animal that lives in some kind of pod or a herd being separated from that energetically is death. And so to some degree, that's what we're all unconsciously dealing with is we weren't really received. And so to continue to be that which is true to us when we were been living in a world that conditioned you not to be that way, it's pretty fucking risky to share what you are and then not have that be received again. Most of us don't want to touch that level of heartache again. The shock would be too great to the system it literally feels like it's going to fucking kill you if that happens again. 
And if you don't want to share your personal experience, just say I. And I'm not, I'm not trying to make you sad here. I'm talking about a human situation, self-perpetuated and self-created. We're doing this. No one's doing this to us. We built this world. And so, you know, it's funny, like we're not, it's like, we're not doing training today, but we're doing a training today, right? Like, cause it's really about recognizing and touching these parts way more than it is about understanding. Okay. Well now what, how do I fix that? Well, you fix it the same way that it got broken. It happened through experience. It gets repaired and cleaned up through experience. You habituated that into you through conditioning, whether you are part, you know, in agreement with that conditioning or not. Most of us were not. We didn't even know it was being done. We were too young and too sensitive. Not too sensitive. We were just, we're young and sensitive. There's no two that needed there. And so my experience has been is that every man and every woman is a little boy and a little girl who is a highly sensitive, attuned being. You may not know yourself that way yet, but that is your natural state. And the thing that you call your identity, your personality, it is the armoring that you had to use to get through whatever you had to get through courageously and bravely as a little boy or a little girl who is being bombarded with messages that they were not enough or not good, or you can't express that. And so you had to build that armory because the heartbreak and the sadness and this loneliness that humanity is feeling collectively is just too fucking much. Like we came out of this weekend. I don't read the news often, but it's pretty fucking hard to avoid a headline that says there were 13 mass shootings this weekend. And the United States. Now, you can be angry at the perpetrators that are doing this, and that's fair. There's some healthy anger to be had there. Or you can understand that the people who are perpetrating such actions are so lonely and disconnected in this world and have not been received well by this world. And it is their last attempt to be seen in this world is to cause that much pain because that's how much pain they're living with. Now, we either take responsibility for that individually and then learn how to take responsibility responsibility for that collectively, or we're going to keep seeing shit like that happen. Because when you live in a culture that was derived and developed and conditioned by the mind only, and you take your most important part out of that culture, which is our heart and our intuition and our emotions, you get sociopathic and schizophrenic behavior. That's what you get. And then we reward that because oftentimes schizophrenics and sociopaths are highly successful at the behest of other people. Now, we don't have to go correct that at the level of the entire collective. And if you want to transform the world, you got to start with yourself and then the people around you. And it's not forcing them to be any way. It's just understanding that the people in your life, the relationships that you have are that way because you've conditioned each other through your energetic and ner- energetic bodies and your nervous systems to respond to each other in a particular way. If I show up as a victim in my relationships and that's how I go through life is seeing myself as a victim, then everybody around me is forced to be in a position of being a perpetrator. If I heal this aspect of myself and I grow solid in my body and I feel safe in my nervous system, then the perpetrators go away. I promise you, I guarantee you. We've been doing this for a long time. That's how it works. How many of you guys are able to feel a connection? Like uh, even though that you might be feeling sadness or tears or anything how many of you guys can start to notice and touch that something someone some presence is here with you touching it right along with you 
Hmm. Say in the comment box, like just allow yourself to witness that. Yes, I feel alone. Yes, I feel sad. Yes, I feel whatever I'm feeling. And I'm not alone right here right now. That, that feeling is what we've all wanted all of our lives. When you were a little one and you were hurt, that's all you wanted. Mom or dad to just let you know that they're there, that they got you. This work is not meant to be done on your own. Mm -hmm. It is not. And I know that the little hurt boy or girl inside has created this fiercely independent construct. And you feel like you need to have it all together before you step out into this big, brave world. And then at some point you will have learned enough and figured out enough and gotten yourself fixed enough to go and play. The best thing you can offer is to give yourself the present of letting go of that story mm. and begin to lean into this thing that you are feeling right here, right now. And I'm telling you guys, this has nothing to do with Guy and I, other than the fact that we have done so much work on ourselves that we can transmit and help your systems open to receive this. That's it. Like Sh Sharon, I think is saying here, like I feel comforted and not alone. Samantha feels safer to open up and be vulnerable than usual. Dana, I feel the warmth from someone but it scares me that it's going to go away. And that exactly is it. And that's how we default back into our old paradigms. And then the mind's going to take over and we're going to leave, right? Because we're going to shut this thing down in the next five minutes. I just want to name that. But it doesn't mean that this connection has to end. Because the connection is not with me. It's not with Guy. It's with something so much bigger. And the invitation and why I'm saying like the healing that you want, how you want to feel is only going to come from you deeply connecting to this medicine. It is not going to come from you understanding more, collecting more information, figuring out more. You've been doing that for so long. Give yourself the gift of plugging into this amazing, heart-centered, amazing community. Give yourself the gift of tapping into this transmission. And the more you sit in this field with us, I promise you, all those little hurt boy and girl parts will be seen and received and healed. And then you get to live your life and build your life from there. Because one of two things is going to happen. You're going to, you're going to build your next thing from more lack, more, more fear, more confusion, more discomfort, or you're going to work through those parts feel through those parts, have those parts be liberated and then create something entirely new, an entirely new frequency and energy. So guys scrolling the thing there on the bottom, but if you want to jump on a call with one of our team members, you can either go to callsatori.com right now, or you can just simply leave a comment in the box right now and saying, reach out to me or whatever, whatever feels good to you in this moment, like reach out, want to talk to someone, need support, whatever, whatever is right resonating for you. 
I learned, and I shared this in our weekend with someone who's also done a lot of work. And I said, the greatest gift I gave myself was realizing that I no longer need to process myself. I no longer need to understand what's happening. I don't care. I don't care. I don't need to understand why I get angry or why I get sad or when it got created or how it got created. I don't care anymore. And what every time I feel that thing that you guys touch today, I reach out and I reach out for support and someone sits with me and I get exactly what I need every single time, not to understand or process, but to just be seen and felt. And in the being seen and felt, the thing magically liberates magically leaves and then I move on. So I know there's many of you out here. I see Dana and Rachel and Sharon, and I hope I'm pronouncing these names right. Katrina, right? Like allow yourself. I know, I know how hard it is to reach out for support because we've reached out so many times and support was just not there. And so the programming was, I'm going to stop reaching out because every time I reach out, I just get rejected or I just get hurt and it spirals that whole thing up again. I'm, I promise you this time it will be different. I promise you everyone that you will come in contact with in our community has been trained and has worked through these parts of their own so they can hold you in empathy and compassion and love as you go through this process. Truly, like, give yourself the gift of not having to do this on your own anytime, anymore. It will be the greatest gift you will ever give to yourself. And on those calls, you guys get to explore. It's a clarity call, right? Like, what would be a next step? Like, what kind of support am I looking for? What could that feel like? What could that look like? Allow yourself to explore that. It will be the greatest gift you will have ever given yourself. Couldn't agree more. Thank yeah. you guys for being so so open today. Really feels wonderful to sit with you. I think we'll probably be doing a lot more of these like energetic transmissions because it's like, you know, that 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 deep sense that we're feeling inside of ourselves. Uh, and honestly, it's like honoring the despair and the sadness and also honoring the elation and the liberation and, and really like widening, widening what a human is and what this reality is and opening up to really the majesty of this experience that we're all having. And it's time to get very real about what that experience is and how do we open the windows and doors that allow us to experience more of that. Love y'all. Thank you for being the type of person that's open to this even if it's just a little bit. Talk to you soon. You guys, bye for now.